This is CHO FM 89.1. My name is Ami Amin. I'm your host. And um, this is uh, Group All Flavor, your show every Tuesday, 12 to 1. And Sandra is here. Hi, Sandra. Oh, hi, Amir. How, are, How you? are you doing? Good, thank you. And, uh, yes. Uh, so, what do you want to talk about today? So, today we have a guest with us. Um, her name is Jeanette de Nazareth. Thank you very much, Jeanette, for joining us today. Thank so you very much. Happy here. So, um, Jeanette, you're a singer, a musician, uh, you give performances. Uh, could you explain a little bit uh, about what you do? Yes. Uh, um, at this moment, I do uh, concerts uh, on a monthly basis at the Ottawa Public Library at the auditorium. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very particular, it's very special uh, what I do. It's not just a concert where people sing and entertain. There are messages behind each song that I do. And uh, as well as uh, I have a play that I created myself. It's a short play uh, where I uh, uh, talk a lot about uh, how the mission started and how can each person uh, take the example from Jeanette, the Nazareth, and uh, uh, you know um, vanquish and uh, win over pride and shyness to go and discover their talents and uh, you know and be an example for people to go and discover their talents in their turn. Uh, this is the basic idea behind it. Of course, there is spiritual and uh, humanitarian message behind that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do you originate from? Uh I come originally from Nazareth, Israel, uh, so therefore my stage name is Jeanette de Nazareth or Jeanette of Nazareth. I see. That's very interesting. <laughs> and so the, the main message behind your, your music is to inspire others and to inspire them to come out of themselves to recognize their talents and to develop them. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, uh, the idea behind that, well, uh, the title of my project, my musical project, is A Friendly Message of Peace. And uh, so I try to promote peace and humanity in Canada and in the world. So I do a lot of promotion through internet uh, as well as correspondence. Uh, so uh, uh, one of the idea is how to create harmony and peace around us. Uh, so I, I, through simplicity and poverty, I say to people, you don't need a lot of money to create harmony and happiness around you. Um, you know, all you need really is just to be yourself. Uh, get rid of the mask. Uh, don't be afraid to show, uh, you know, uh, your weaknesses. But, but concentrate rather on your strength. And be yourself. And go and share your talents that uh, you will discover with your community, with the government, with the society, with the, your churches, uh, with your family, uh, your surrounding, etc. So uh, I say if we do succeed, succeed to create harmony, then there'll be no reason to have war around. There'll be no reason to be angry or have a sense of revenge anymore. Get up and dance. And uh, so it's, again, I'm trying to give an example to people that you don't need to be very sophisticated, but uh, with simplicity you can create harmony. So let us listen to this, just a little clip of the, this melody that uh, gives a, a touch of, uh, it's got a Russian flavor or Greek flavor.
Okay, so we're back um, talking to Jeanette de Nazareth about her music, and uh, she has also brought Christine with her, who helps her with her performances. Christine, can you tell us a little bit about how you met Jeanette and what your role is in the project? Jeanette didn't meet in about April this year. Yeah, I, I brought my special friend, Denise, and the two of us, we listened to Jeanette. And Denise, <laughs> she said, Christine, she was healed. Um, and I was like, oh, no, okay. Yes, I, I was healed by God, by faith healers. I um, had a walker and a cane. And when I met Jeanette, you know, uh, um, she said, well, come up and dance. <laughs> and so I was dancing with the children, and that's how we met. And then she told me um, about the concerts, that, you know, the next concert. And, like, I was healed by God, and, and I believe that God brought me to Jeanette. And, and, and Denise and I met Jeanette. And I was going through so many tests, I was told I, I was had a muscle disease. And like now, since I've been performing with Jeanette, um, when did I stop my my cane? I, I think all of a sudden I'm not walking with my cane, and it's like a miracle, and I've never been so happy, and I've been dancing with Jeanette, and I perform with her at the social forum at the Ottawa University, and we both performed. Um, she performed a beautiful music, and I did dancing with the children, and then I performed, like, my guitar, and I read a peace poem, um, and I danced with her at the promenade, the lute away, and I've been dancing at the library, and we've been inseparable ever since. Wow. And Jeanette has taught me about singing because I am so happy now. I am, <laughs> you might sometimes find me singing on the street. I'm just walking, singing, and I'm so happy that I can walk again. This is the summer where I don't have a cane. I don't have a walker, and it's like, oh, wow, Christine, she doesn't have, and it's, it's a miracle, and Jeanette says, just when she introduced me the first time, she said, "Now you, you know, Christine. She, the t this is how she is. Accept her for who she is. She had lots of rejection, and I was like, wow, someone actually said that, uh, and and it, it, it touched my heart because I also wear two hearing aids." And I never believed in myself till I met Jeanette. And, and all of a sudden, this miraculous transformation. And now, like, I, I tell people, hi, I'm Christine Deodoucet. I'm a singer, dancer, contemporary artist, performer, entertainer. And, and she really brought something, just a miracle happen. And um, she's a really, Jeanette of Nazareth is a really, really, really beautiful person. And I'm so glad and blessed to have known her. That really is a miracle because <laughs> when I met you, I would never ever have guessed yeah. that you had previously used a cane. That is absolutely a miracle. Yeah. So thank you for sharing your, your story with us. That, yeah, you're that's welcome. Great. Yes. Um, so uh, Christine was saying how uh, how you touched her, how you healed her, um, about dancing. How is it that you can heal people? Uh, yes, uh, this is uh, another thing uh, that I wanted to mention is that uh, uh, I really resent there are, uh, there are um, uh, not enough people who are attending my concert. Of course, we have to allow uh, you know time for people to be aware of it. But uh, it is some kind of healing session uh, because uh, again, it's it's. Uh, I'm given, you know, that image of that person who was nothing, and she's uh, discovering her little tiny talents. She's sharing them with people. She's making people happy. And music is a healing instrument. Uh, plus, when you have faith, the two, you know, connection together, you know, God plus music, it kind of make it perfect for to go and, you know, uh, as a tool to go and heal uh, uh, people and uh, help them to, uh, uh, you know, lift them up from whatever depression or uh, or uh, anxiety or any, uh, could be physical uh, sickness, could be anything. I'm just saying music and uh, 
also the aspect of the spiritual aspect of it which is prayer are a healing power very very powerful healing power you really do have a tremendous gift <laughs> that really is wonderful thank you can you talk a little bit about your dancing <laughs> yes my dancing i just came i just finished a, a retreat for eight days and uh, this was a very very moving spiritual uh, experience for me i was hoping that i can stand on my own without having <laughs> a man in my life if you want so i can be totally devoted to god if you want but i did not succeed 15 days later i fell into trouble again <laughs> but uh, it's not important because i felt you know the presence of my friend is very important and christine and everyone you know uh, surrounding me is very important i am not i can't be strong alone uh, and that's exactly uh, how it is with the society if we all support each other we become stronger than when we stand alone by ourselves so uh, during that uh, retreat we had like f uh, four sermon uh, you know someone was preaching four times a day and there was a mass and there was a, 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 you know a rosary and before every event I would dance I, I did it like from my own intuition nobody ever invited me to do that I get up with my scarf and I start to dance and someone you know who, a very good friend of mine called Fred Schubert he was in charge of uh, the this uh, group uh, and this activity so he took me literally through my arms and took me right in front of the church and he said you can dance in front of everyone right there and I was kind of hiding behind so as you can see I'm still growing in one with my audience I'm not totally recovered uh, you know from shyness and from whatever pride and so on and uh, from that point on every day I was at least dancing six to eight dances you know in in that church and lifting up people's spirit I said wow uh, these people are going to heal, uh, you know, uh, spiritually, not only through whatever they're listening, but my contribution too, although it's very symbolic. But, you know, every added touch can make a difference. This is the way I see it. By the way, Sandra is also a good dancer. <laughs> So you're welcome to my concert. Well, actually, the last song that we played, I just felt like getting up and dancing myself. Exactly yeah. what it is. It's so yeah. simple, and yet people, you know, uh, uh, get up and dance, and, you know, it's, it's just beautiful. This is exactly my purpose behind the whole thing. And so you were talking about shyness and coming out of your own shell yeah. and helping other people come out of their shells. Yeah. Um, you have a piece of music that you brought with us, mm -hmm. um, sorry, with you, to talk about shyness. Yes. Can you give us a little bit of background about that piece of music? Yes, uh, uh, this uh, song uh, is unfortunately so far in French, but I, uh, I'm intending to go and translate it in other languages. And by the way, a lot of my songs are minimum bilingual a lot of them French and English some of them are in three languages so you hear one song and yet you hear three languages sometimes four languages like family it's in four languages uh, and there's uh, um, another one that is kind of spiritual it's uh, called a call uh, for mercy or something a call uh, uh, yes or something like that for mercy anyway so it is in three languages and I introduced this to, uh, to the public at the NAC at uh, on the Parliament Hill one time there was an activity I I did share that with them uh, interfaith activity where I did also uh, share this song with uh, with people so uh, at least 2,000 3,000 people heard this song so far uh, minimum that's apart from the Holy Land the Holy Land this very song uh, has been sang for over 10 years at the Basilica but unfortunately it's only in uh, Arabic but now I translated it and I have it like in French, English, and Arabic. So it's uh, it, it touches people. You know, people are interested to hear different languages, and it it broaden broaden the um, circle of communication among people. 
so uh, to answer to your question, this song in particular is entitled Seduction of Pride and Shyness. And I was inspired uh, from a course that I took. It's called in French, Relation Humaine, uh, Human Relation. It's uh, simply a course uh, that helps you to affirm yourself, uh, to discover uh, you, you know, within your talents, whatever you have, you know, uh, to get out and stop uh, hiding behind that curtain of shyness. Uh, so the play plus the song uh, was inspiration from this course. There was an exercise we had to go and say, you the shyness of pride, get out of my life, no more control over me. Something like that, you know, there's a very, I can't translate it word by word, but it's the idea of chasing away the pride and shyness and welcome me, accept myself as I am and bring, you know, my strength uh, to the maximum and share it with the public. You're hearing the next songs, and we'll be back after this. www.afriendlymessage.org That's www.afriendlymessage.org And my email is jkty at sympathico.ca That's jkty at sympathico.ca So you will see on the very first page uh, an ad concerning the next concert which will take place this Saturday. June 21st at 1.45 at the auditorium of the Ottawa Public Library at the corner of Metcalf and Laurier in Ottawa. Thank you. And what will the, the concert on June the 21st be about? It will be very much similar to the one I uh, conducted on May 24th. Uh, something I did uh, forget to mention, I do release also, apart from uh, reading poems and singing and playing, I release some friendly messages of peace, messages that are where I feel it can uh, improve our life uh, as a society. And uh, so uh, so I'll be releasing a very important message uh, coming up. 
And uh, last time there was uh, an important friendly message as well, where I do uh, say what I heard as a voice, inner voice within me, that Canada will become an international touristic spiritual country where we can uh, do a lot of festivals, peace festivals, and then, uh, you know, create a lot of beautiful energy, positive energy. And when we are strong to the maximum, we will send this positive, positive energy to the Holy Land and all the countries that are suffering from war. And so I'm hoping and I believe very strongly that through this technique we can heal these uh, countries that are suffering. Uh, so this is uh, one of the last mess friendly messages that I did deliver on May 24th concert. And how do you feel about Canada? You, you've lived in different countries. What is, how do you feel about Canada and uh, harmony and so on here? Yes. Uh, Canada is a beautiful country. I admire, you know, just going in, uh, in the arms of Mother Nature and be cuddled in her arms. It's really a very, very beautiful country. And can I really take this opportunity to thank Canada uh, for its uh, support, uh, uh, the beautiful people that I came across through my life. And uh, they gave me all the time uh, moral support uh, and uh, psychological support and so on. And they are very beautiful. So uh, I say thank you, Canada. Although I do have the song where it says, uh, searching for identity, what I say, I don't belong to any of the countries, but if we follow the end of the song, I do be, I do say that, uh, you know, uh, come with the conclusion that the fact that I don't belong to any of the countries, I belong to all of them, and everyone is my sister and brother, and so Canada is my homeland as well. Thank you very much. Thank That's you. very beautiful. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. I just want to um, uh, reiterate um, your web address. So it's www.afriendlymessage.org, O-R-G. And also uh, you can reach Jeanette de Nazareth at J K T Y at simpatico.ca and uh, we hope that people will go to on June the 21st please go along to the uh, main library uh, on the corner of Laurier and Metcalf in the auditorium and you will see Jeanette de Nazareth there and her friends um, she's an absolutely amazing person um, and she's, she will inspire you. She's very talented, very creative. You will be able to enjoy her singing, her dancing, her messages, um, meet other people there. Um, of course, uh, it is a free concert. Yes. Yes. Um, could you just share us uh, one more piece of music yes. before we go? Sure. Um, maybe I would... Uh So what is the name of this piece of news? Freedom. Freedom. Very, okay. And can you tell us a little bit, what does freedom mean for yes, you? Yes. Uh, uh, when I do uh, introduce this uh, melody, this is really kind of the, the ultimate score, the ultimate goal of, uh, of the whole project is to acquire freedom, peace, victory. That means also harmony. So this is really the ultimate goal of the whole musical project. And so humanity and peace will reign on earth. So it's simply just uh, a melody that uh, I created. It's kind of classical taste. Yeah. Yeah. When I do play it, I tend to dance uh, along with the children uh, during the, perform uh, the concert. So we will be back after this music.
sounds very nice. That had a bit of an oriental, maybe, influence. Yeah, very nice music. I really admire the way you are able to bring in influences of music from different cultures to put it together yourself. I mean, that's incredible. And to inspire others to heal. I really admire you, Jeanette. Um, so I just want to repeat for people mm -hmm. that it's June the 21st yes. at 1 o'clock. 145. 145 yes. um, at the main library yes. on Laurier and Metcalf. Um, and they can see you there with your friends, your, <laughs> your group, yes. uh, dancing, singing. Yes. They'll hear a peace message. Um, and again, if you want to contact Janet, you can write to her at jkty at simpatico.com or visit her webpage at www.afriendlymessage.org. So, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for being here. And, uh, and hope, I hope you will be here again in the future soon. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks, Christine, for being here, too. Yes, uh, Christine. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we are at the end of our program. Uh, this is, again, uh, Global Flavor Radio, Global Flavor. My name is Amy Mead, your host. And we will be next week again, Tuesday, 12, 12 to 1 here. And thanks, Sandra. Thank you, Amir. You're welcome. So, <laughs> talk to you again next week. Yes. Bye now. Bye-bye. Thank you.